For it's a grand old team to play for, no doubt, and a grand old team to see, as I can testify over many decades. Glasgow Celtic, threatened by their own board not to bring Palestinian flags into the Champions League tie with Atletico Madrid this evening, have turned up in their thousands wearing Palestinian colours, making human flags. And the fear of the British government, which moved the Celtic board to make that threat against their own supporters, has been defied en masse. And if you knew their history, you would know why. The same reason why Irish politicians are out en masse, online, on the streets, demanding a ceasefire and a lifting of the blockade on the benighted people of the Gaza Strip. Israel has demanded the resignation of the head of the United Nations. Well, it's a step less than their assassination of the United Nations special envoy, Count Bernadotte of Sweden, shot dead in the street by a man who later became the Prime Minister of Israel. Terrorism, anyone? And we'll be asking just how many children have to die in the Gaza Strip before the politicians in Britain and the United States and Canada in particular decide that enough is enough. We'll be talking to the man who in a sane world would be at foggy bottom as the Secretary of State for the United States of America, Chris Lynn Hedges, and other excellent witnesses to the international situation that's unfolding before us. Fasten your seatbelts. This is going to be a bumpy night on the mother of all talk shows.